What's the process for requesting copies of veteran service records? All you need is a Department of Defense form called SF-180. And in this video, we're gonna break down everything that you need to know about it. Let's jump in. Worry Forms your go-to destination for all things legal, business, taxes, and more. To get your own official SF-180, click the link in the description below. What is IRS Form SF-180? This form is used to request copies of a veteran's service records, including Form DD-214, from the National Personnel Records Center or the National Archives. It is typically used by veterans and family members of deceased veterans to replace documents that have been lost or misplaced. It's important to note that SF-180 is not used to make corrections to a veteran's service record. The appropriate form for this would be Form DD-215. What are service records used for? Service records are typically used for the following. Qualification and enrollment for veterans benefits, civilian job applications, burial and survival benefits, and genealogy. What types of records are requested? The following are types of records that may be requested. DD-204 or equivalent, deleted or undeleted, dental records, medical records, and official military personnel files. Let's go over confidentiality. The National Archives maintains confidentiality of service records for 62 years after a veteran's discharge and only veterans, their authorized family members, or their legal representatives may access confidential records. After 62 years, service records are archived and made available to the public. If these copies need to be obtained, they can be available for a fee of $20 to $80, depending on the type of document requested. What if records are missing? In 1973, a fire at the National Personnel Records Center destroyed around 16 to 18 million Army and Air Force records of veterans who were discharged between 1912 and 1964. The NPRC can often reconstruct these records using alternate documents. However, this process may take several weeks to even months to complete. What documentation is needed to request records? When submitting a request for confidential records that are less than 62 years old, the following documentation may be needed. Proof of death, court appointment and authorization letter, or power of attorney. Where do I submit Form SF-180? This form is accepted either by fax, mail, or electronically. You can fax request to 314-801-9195. For mailed requests, the location may vary depending on the nature of the request. The last page of Form SF-180 has a table that is used to determine the appropriate address. Lastly, for electronic requests, you'll go to eVetRex, which is the veteran's request page. Here, you can also check the status of a submitted request. Before we go, let's cover a few frequently asked questions. If I recently separated from the military, should I use this form to request my service records? This will depend on how recently the service member separated from the military. If copies of service records are not issued during the time of discharge, they are typically mailed shortly after. Can I request records about a veteran that I'm not related to for research or genealogy? Yes, however, if the desired records are for a veteran that departed from the military less than 62 years ago, you will need the veteran's or their family member's cooperation in retrieving these records. Hopefully this video broke down everything you needed to know about Form SF-180. To start filling out your own form, click the link in the description below this video. There, you'll find an official copy to download. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful content.